Good morning. Welcome to the free lecture series. Here we are going to discuss the wave binding connection like this question. And the, in the previous class, we have discussed about the lab binding we have, we have an analyzing like this. Like this is the lab binding, the connection is there where we can consider the lab shape. But now this, but now we are going to discuss the wave binding connection and the basic general formula for designing it is basically like this. V is equals to y b plus y f divided by two equals to z plus minus two divided by p. The plus is for the progressive binding and minus for retrogressive binding. And second, the important conclusion part is very useful like this. This is v average is odd. Then v b and the y and the y b and the y f should be odd. Let us suppose if it is seven, then it is R to seven it is R to seven or or we can use the relation y b equals to y plus minus two is given like in the lab connection. So this is the formula. This is the connection of the wave diagram for a single phase singleless binding, where we have seen that this is the conductor, the coil A is like this pressure, current is going from this and it is coming from this, like it is going from this and coming from this, like this pressure we can show. For the for the distance between the one coil is called YB and the commutative coil is called YF and this is called the commutative pitch that we are going to design. So this is the basic formulas that Y average equals to YB plus YF upon 2, Z plus minus 2 upon 2, where Z is the number of conductors and the number of poles. So this is the connection diagram that we have to draw. Draw the winding table for the four pole wave connected armature winding having 30 coil sides. 30 coil sides, 30 coil sides means there are 30 slots are there. Slot 1, slot 2, slot 3 up to slot 30. And give a developed diagram for the winding showing the polarity and the position of Russia, the main pole, direction of the QCMA. And this was I have taken from the JV Gupta, so you can refer it like this. We have equals to so using the Formula that we have learned, we have raised equals to z plus minus 2 by p, where z is the number of conductors. Since there are 30 coil sides, so we are using 30 conductors. This is basically the coil side 1, this is coil side 2, conductor A, conductor A dash. Similarly, there are 30 coil sides, so we are using 30 conductors. Okay. And it should be, if we are taking a plus, then it is 8. If we take a minus, then it is basically 7. So we are using the 7 and if it is, and we have already seen that if the y average is odd, if, 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 uh, if, if, uh, if the y average is odd, then we have to take the y b and y f is odd. So then I have taken the odd, which is 7, so also 7. Now connect this like this, there are 30 slots are there and we have to connect it in wave fashion. So start the connection. Like this. I am starting from this part. If it is taken as a 1, 1 plus 7, 1 plus 7 basically it is 8. So it is connected to the point 8. This is called YB, which is 7, which is plus 2. So, and we can say that the 8 plus 8 plus 7 because y f is also 7, 8 plus 7 is basically 15. So, like this, we can say that this is 8 plus 7 is 15. This is y f equals to 7. Okay. So we have drawn this and just uh, remove this for making it more clear understanding. is 15. Similarly, 15 plus 7 is 22. It is a 15 plus 7 is a 22. This is 22. 22 or plus 7 is 29. It is 22 plus 7 is basically uh, 29. And 29 plus 7 is basically equals to 6. Because 29 plus 7 is here, the limitation is the 30, 31, 32, 
33, 34, 35, 36, 37. We have to limit the 30 because 30 is the last slot. So we can take as a 31 as a 1, it is as a 2, it is as a 3, it is as a 4, it is as a 5, it is as a 6, it is as a 6. So 29 plus 7 is basically what? Or 36, which is 36, which is equals to basically 6. So we can say that 29 is basically connected to the position number 6. Okay. Now come back to the six. This is six. Now come back to the six. This is six. So this six is basically coming from this, like this fashion. So this six connection, and this will become basically twenty nine. Now six plus seven should be thirteen. So you can say that this is the thirteen. This is six. And this is 13. This is plus 7 basically uh, 13. Okay. Good. 13 plus 7 is basically 20. So this is 20. Like this. This is 20. And uh, we have to connect it from 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, 20. There is 13. We have connect this like this. This is. And 20 plus 7 is 27. So this is 27, this is 20. And 27 plus 7, 27 plus 7 is basically what? It is 4. It is connected to position number 4. So come back to the position number 4. It is coming from 20. Four plus twenty uh, four plus seven is eleven. So this is eleven. This is seven. Four plus eleven is seven. Uh, four plus seven is eleven. And eleven plus uh, seven is basically eighteen. This is eighteen. So connect it. Eleven plus seven is eighteen. This uh, sixteen. So connect it. Okay. Eighteen plus seven is uh, twenty five. 18 plus 7 is 25, so make the connection like this. This is 18, and this is 7. 18 plus 7 is 13 plus 7 is 20. This is 19. Okay. 11, 11 plus 7 is it? Uh, 11 plus 7 is 18, this is 16, 17, 18, 19, 18. 18 plus 7 is 25, this is 18, 16, 17, 18. This is 20, 21, 22, 19, 18. This is plus 7 is 20. And 25 plus 7 is basically it is connected to position number 2. Now 2 is there. This is 2. Like this. Coming from this side. 25 and 2 plus 7, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9, that is 9, 9 plus 7 is going to 16, like this, 16 plus 7 is going to be 16 plus 7, 23, 23 plus 7 is going to 23 plus 7 is going to 30, 30 plus 7 is going to Basically, is going to seven. Thirty plus seven is going to basically seven. Seven is like this. 
Now, seven plus seven is fourteen. Fourteen plus seven is twenty-one. And this twenty-one plus seven, basically, you can say that twenty-one plus seven is twenty-eight. This is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus seven, basically, you can say that. Operation number five. Operation number five. So the five is like this. This is operation number five. This is twenty eight. Coming from twenty three. Five plus seven is five plus seven is twelve. This is twelve. Twelve plus seven is basically we can say. The plus seven is nineteen. This is nineteen. Fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen. This is nineteen. And in nineteen plus seven is going to be. Oh, there is a mistake that I have come done. And this basically. We have just understand. I just making some mistake. So you can do that. Eighteen, nineteen plus seven is twenty-six. Twenty-six. In twenty-six plus seven, basically, connection number. Connection number three is going to be connection number three. This is three. This is coming from the. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-two is twenty-six. So three plus seven is basically ten, and ten plus seven is basically seventeen, and seventeen plus seven is is nothing but. Seventeen, seventeen plus seven is uh, nothing but uh, should say seventeen. Now seventeen plus seven is three plus twenty-three. Uh, this and twenty-three plus seven. Eight is connected to. Eight is connected to this question. So this is the connection diagram for the wave connected winding. We have already understood. And just by taking this part like this. We are just putting the brush here and putting the brush here and putting the brush here. 
So by closely observing, we can say that the current is coming from that side in these conductors and it is entering that side in this conductor if I just put the current it is leaving these conductors this so wave binding we have learned how to how we can design the wave binding like this wave like structure but the when the, but the thing is that that we have to understand that in a wave binding connection the connection is basically like this follows this is the coil like this Say that the conductors are plus and plus by connected to make a plus and the is minus to minus the connected and minus and the load is connected to plus plus minus i so if the bindings in the wave binding connection we can say that in a wave winding connection Voltage rating is increasing see plus minus voltage, this is plus minus voltage, this is plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus but direction of current is same. The voltage rating increases, the current becomes constant and number of parallel power is equals to 2. Number of parallel power is equals to 2 because this is called the number of parallel power. Here parallel part 1, this is parallel part 2. A equals to 2. Where A is called number of parallel power. It is already if the number of number of windings are increasing in the wave winding, then it should be two. A is always constant value, having it two. But we can't increase the current rating, but we can increase the voltage rating by uh, by increasing the coils in the stator or, or in the armature winding in the wave connected. If it is wave connected, then we can increase the voltage rating of this armature winding, but we can't increase the current rating. In order to increase the current rating, we have to go toward the left winding connection. So in the left winding connection that we have already understand, we can say that here we can increase the current 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 rating. So here in this case the number of parallel path is P. In this machine there is a P equals to 4, A equals to basically 4. The parallel path 1, the parallel path 2, parallel path 3 and the parallel path just but in the wave connection, what will happen? In the wave binding connection, we can say that number of parallel path is 2, but the voltage rating can be increased. So, this is the difference between the left binding and the wave binding. And just by seeing the literature given by the JB Gupta, you can easily understand what the thinking behind it. So, I just try to uh, give you the brief demonstration of the left binding and the wave binding. There are lots to be done. And you can easily go to the concept of uh, this concept in the JP Gupta. Thank you very much. I think you will enjoy this session.